Wracamy jeszcze na chwilę na kolizjum, bo mam tu jakieś after party. Zobaczymy, co tu będzie po prostu. Mam nadzieję, że coś ciekawego. Hi. Uh, welcome to the last panel here in the Coliseum of E3. We're almost done, but uh, we're gonna have an after party first. So, uh, before we start, for those of you at home, we're gonna be having a drinking game. The way this works is if you hear the word hell, you must take a shot. I'm so very, very sorry. This is gonna be bad news for you. But uh, that's the plan, and we're gonna stick to it. So I hope you will self-regulate. We don't have that long, so you'll be fine, I think. All right, but before we do anything, let's bring out everyone. First up, the developers. Night School Studio, Adam Krenkel and Sean Hines. Wow. <laughs> Look at these guys! Where are these pictures? Let's keep it going. Please, oh, yeah. here. Let's keep it going. Uh, next up. Wow, this is out of bounds. <laughs> Far Cry Horizon Zero Dawn. My Iden Versio. Janita Gapankar is here. Oh, Iden Versio. Pani, która gra Aiden, tak? <laughs> Darksiders, of course, in Firewatch. Sissy Joe. Okay, jakby jestem ciekaw, czemu taki taka grupa ludzi? No zaraz mam nadzieję, że się dowiemy. See this thing. Milo, how long have we been friends? Our entire lives. Our whole entire lives. And so I want you to understand that I'm not blaming you for getting us killed and sent to hell. Two, uh, what do you want? Two dead orphans. And I'm not even saying how drinking Satan to get back home is the worst idea you've ever had. Okay, well, Lola, what are you saying? Okay, czy to będzie też jakieś gierce? Ciekawe. You should pace yourself. Okay, so this is a after party. Drink, drink, drink. drink. Hey. <laughs> Have we established rules for if it's written? I think it counts. Same. Okay. Same. 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 <laughs> Four. Oh boy. We're starting off hot. Okay. Let's get down to business. We have got lots to talk about. Uh, okay. Gentlemen. <laughs> what the hell inspired this game? Drink! Get it? <laughs> you didn't even think Wait, are there actual... Yes. Yeah, they get to yes. drink. Yes! No, Bless you. But we don't... <laughs> We've been drinking since before. So what inspired this game? Yeah, yeah. talk to us. Uh, yeah, so it originally started, we just wanted to do a game that took place in one location. And then we were like, what's our favorite location? And then that led us to a bar. And then initially we thought it'd be cool to be a bartender. But then we were like, no, it'd be better to drink. So that turned into a pub crawl game. And then we kept kind of working on that for months and months. And then we went, who would be the worst person to go up against as an antagonist? And as a joke, while we were walking through Forest Lawn Cemetery <laughs> together, yes. which is, for those of you that don't know, it's like where Michael Jackson's buried and many yeah. other people, uh, we decided that Satan would be the coolest person to go up against. And so it kind of just kept evolving over a few months. Yeah. You're not wrong. No. <laughs> and you never had a moment where you thought, man, this might be a controversial thing. We, that's why we decided to do it, yeah. <laughs> we had a lot yes. of those moments. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, our last game, uh, we made a game called Oxen Free that was about sort of like being Woo! able to Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was about, like, th that one was sort of a, <laughs> I don't want to call it too dark, but it was a fairly serious game. And so I think the other thing we wanted to do was a bit of a palate cleanser post yeah. that and get funny. More comedic, more <laughs> yeah. zany, more fantastical. Yeah. Cool. All right. So <laughs> you have this idea. I'm like watching you try to wrap your head around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had this idea, and then you had to convince people to be in it. And act these characters. No convincing. What's to convince? No convincing. Thank you. Like, I chased them straight up. I chased them hard. Thank you. So you were chased down the street. Yeah. Like four amazing women. You ran you down. Accurate. Once that happened, and you got up after they pummeled you. What was the process of finding their characters and like getting them involved in the actual? It was a lot, yeah, it was, I, we weren't being chased. It was a lot of just kind of asking and hoping and uh, we begging. were just a lot of begging. And <laughs> um, yeah, we just got extremely lucky uh, that they all wanted to do it and were all available at like the exact right time. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a huge boon and a massive gift uh, to be able to write for people who can really act and really act in the way that you <laughs> want them to and need them to. And Because uh, they, they all play, I think, multiple characters, even if it's on credited because the, the, the speaking role list is huge. You meet a hundred different demons, hundred different crazy guys and girls. So, um, so yeah, we needed people who could do a lot of different voices and we're really good. So we really lucked out. Okay, so for the truth, how did the four of you actually get involved? <laughs> Just go down the list. Like, when you, when you joined, and, and yeah. can you tell us anything about uh, the character so that you I played? met them on completely different terms. And um, when they told me about this game, I was like, yes, where, how? And also, like, <laughs> which one of my friends do you want me to call? Um, but I'll come back to that in a second. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, having worked with them on Oxen Free, um, it was, that experience was definitely like a please call me whatever you're doing next. Um, and thank Aaron God they did. Aaron was the lead. Was the lead Aaron was the lead on Oxen Free. She killed it. Well, she made it's people cry. One of my favorite games. <laughs> yeah. You know this. It's yes. one of my favorite games. Yes. Yes. No, it's incredible. I mean, that uh, ties directly into why I, or how I kind of got involved or how I started chasing, why I started chasing them because I think I was playing it for IGF, Oxen Free, and I was blown away. I was like, this is some of the best voiceover I've ever heard in, in an indie game. I was immediately a, a huge fan of hers. Um, and so, I mean, I met you later and I was like, hi, I'm like obsessed with you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I think I had also known one of their programmers and I was like, hey, 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 Brian, hey, 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 hey. Um, but I think it was actually your referral that got, finally got me in the door. Yeah. So hey. it was a lot of hard work and campaigning. <laughs> Uh, sheer dumb luck? I don't know. No, I think I worked with you guys for a little bit on The Walking Dead, maybe? Yeah. A long time ago. Definitely, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then, then I got the call and I was like, hell yeah, drink. <laughs> drink. Drink. All of you drink. Yeah, drink. drink. Yes. You know, the, the indie world is, is uh, as we all know at this point, the games industry is mainstream, but it is just as robust as the film world at this point. And it is like parallel in that there are AAA games, which are just like big budget studio films. And there's the indie world, which is just like indie films. And just in the same exact way, it really is who you know, who is interested in making the culture of art that you want to make. And that means you call everybody that you know and... Um, it is actually really organic instead of like hiring a casting director who then goes and mines the town to find the right person for you. It's really just like... I just called you when I was walking past the parking lot of a like abandoned church. <laughs> 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 like that's how it came to be. Yeah, yeah and I... It's roughly the same way. Yeah, yeah right. I mean, and... and I mean, some people are going to say no, but most people are going to say yes when you just make incredible things. Like Oxen Free is such an incredible offering that, you know, like <laughs> it makes you want to work with people like you. Yeah. yeah. And there are contracts now to reflect that. I mean, this is now that's like my pet crusade, but like there, this is true of actors that they want to work on indies very yes. badly of any kind. I mean, that's where a lot of the most experimental, interesting work is happening. And so as of recently, there's a, a, a contract with the Actors Union that lets us work on this type of stuff. And that Massive makes Massive thanks so to this one. Happy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Massive yes. thanks to this one. So, yeah. Yeah, so if you are interested in making independent games, you really can know that there is a plethora of talent out there that is interested in working with you yeah. on whatever you want to make. And there are contracts that will support you in that area. Yeah. yeah. Contracts! Hey. Yeah, contracts! Yeah. 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 It's like episode one, two, and three. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> Protections. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into characters. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. 
Uh, what a weird tangent, Contra. <laughs> but it's good. It should, feel, it should make you feel empowered. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. No, I'm just curious uh, to learn more about your character, what uh, sort of you can tell us about them or they. I guess uh, there are many characters in this game. Yeah. So let's just like do this. I want to sure. know more. Should we, maybe we should set up before going into yeah, each character it. just to explain some of the... Yeah, I think the, so. Yeah, what the game is. So essentially you're two, there, you play as two characters, Milo and Lola. Milo was supposed to be here. And he <laughs> still I haven't longer. met him yet. By uh, the way. They haven't met, so we thought that was going to be a very special moment. Long Still may happen. Damn it, boy! Anything could happen. He but could show up. He could descend from above. Milo and Lola, they die, uh, which is very sad, of course. Uh, they are just graduating Wait, college. What? Yep, I know. <laughs> and that's the end no, of the game. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Good night. Yeah. Uh, so the game opens <laughs> on that. <laughs> and uh, they find themselves in hell. They don't know why. So they're about hey! to get processed. Oh, I did. <laughs> and one of the rules in hell. Drink. Hey. <laughs> He's actually just like yeah. helping you out. You're the real hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is uh, that if you can outdrink Satan, which nobody's ever done, if you can get invited to his house party and outdrink Satan, he will grant you re-entry to Earth. So the game Zaj is about the two. The bomb is not gonna cut. Musisz przepić szatana. Lola, I don't know if you want to tell us about. Yeah, sure. So. Um, I mean, that basically, ex that explains us <laughs> what, what we're doing. That's our crusade, just trying to get out of hell. But we, um, oh, 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 oh. but, um, but we uh, yeah, so I would say that um, we've had a platonic friendship since, since grade school. We love each other dearly. Um, and, um, there she is. There she, there she is. is. I can't wait to, uh, that's why I should cut my hair like this year. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. And, um, and, uh, and um, she's actually like the dry one, so um, Milo is a bit of like a ridiculous, n nervous boy. And I think when you grow up with somebody like that, you kind of become their protector in some kinds of ways, you know? And um, yeah, so, so that's, that's Malola. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, so I voice Sister Mary Wormhorn. She is, <laughs> toss that whole title out there. Um, she's uh, Milo and Lola's personal demon. So she is like a fly that is born for a short period of time for a singular purpose, and that is to constantly remind them why they ended up in hell. Hey! hey. Um, yeah, I love Wormhorn. She is easily the my favorite character I've ever voiced in oh. a video game. Oh, no. um, she is if... Uh, Beetlejuice and the genie and Kate McKinnon had a three-way and gave her. Um, she's fantastic and she's so passionate and takes her job very seriously. Um, and I can tell you, she's very good at her job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Wormhorn. And she's the exact opposite of what you played in Oxenfree. Yeah. Like yes. she is a torturing, yeah. mean-spirited, yet hilarious <laughs> and loving at her yes. core. Yeah. yeah. Creature. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Is she a nun? Is that a, spo it's a spoiler? It's not a Sister spoiler. <laughs> um, so the bartenders in hell <laughs> are <laughs> all named uh, Father something, ah. and then the personal demons are Sister something. And it's just hell has a lot of like small uh, ways uh, of uh, trying. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's not. He's not sorry. Sorry, yes, not sorry. I'm not sorry. Uh, Satan has a lot of ways to try and subtly mock God in many different ways. Cool. Aspects, <laughs> oh, that's He's like, well, if I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my character is a, is related to the devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, sister. No, sister. And she's a public defender, which is kind of an interesting role in hell. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. Um, but yeah, she's, she's got kind of a, she's got a lot of power. She's got, sometimes it's kind of a quiet power, sometimes it's a little more uh, aggressive. Um, and, but that combination of, of like a wry self-aware power, she's got cards kind of close to her chest, um, but a great sense of humor just made her so much fun to play. Yeah. So, oh my God, love her, <laughs> love her, love her. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have a character card for me. <laughs> okay, Linda's a washed up rock star. <laughs> She's real bitter. She's real jaded. She helps them on shit stuff. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my god. We have a very broadcast. 
that's literally mm -hmm. four of a hundred. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's pretty insane. Genuinely. Like, hell yeah. is popular. Oh. oh, I didn't oh. mean it. I'm sorry. He no. did. Oh, that <laughs> woman has alcohol it? poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Own it, that word. Own it, live it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, our version of the underworld, I'll let you guys take a breather, oh. uh, is intended to really uh, be sort of as broad as possible. And so there's districts that feel like you're going to Shibuya, there's districts that feel like you're going to end up in a three-story nightclub with a crazy pulsating flesh body with Alana Pierce DJing in the middle of it. There's uh, areas that are more quaint, uh, there's areas that feel like they're on the outskirts of uh, Redneckville. And, yeah, yeah exactly. So it's pretty, like, you, you'd in encounter each of their characters in wildly different places. Um, and yeah, again, we're just super lucky to have, yeah. have this cast. So, <laughs> getting like technical, as technical as can possibly be. Okay. I know characters. I know I'm drinking in the game. Yes. What's like the core loop of this game? What am I actually doing? The core loop, <laughs> yes. You know, you got that technical. game design yeah. speak. I like it. That's pretty the, uh, technical. You're welcome. Like, no, <laughs> when you go to Hades, no, what is Hades. Hades. Well, no. you climb towers. And then, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> it's a tower defense game. Yeah. <laughs> you have to unlock the map. Yeah. You, have, you unlock right. the map, you look around, and then you have like a new area. It's right, just right. Kidding. No. You find more towers. No, and you this is an indie game, guys. <laughs> There's none of that. Right. Yeah, what are you doing like, in this game? For us, the core experience is to, to make sure that the player feels like what they can say is like an ability. And so, yeah. you know, in the case of... Uh, after party, you have some sort of core lines that you'll be fed at any time that you can go ahead and say in any moment. But when you go into a bar, you can order any number of drinks and those drinks will wildly augment what you will say. So if you want to go into a bar and talk like a pirate, you get that drink and that might be the way that you get through it. And so in terms of what you're doing, it is a lengthy, very modular narrative that is like an actual pub crawl. Like, I might bump into you at a bar and then two bars later you might be texting me, but another player wouldn't experience any of that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, can you drink too much pirate juice? Yes. You can drink too much of all of it. And does that make you too much of a pirate? Uh, no. Why? Can you ever be too much I of mean, a you pirate? <laughs> you explode into a rough so out of nowhere. That you lose your conscience. Yes, yeah, there is. Exactly. Your conscience can exit your body yeah. and run away because you've drunk so much. <laughs> That's actually true. And then it run, then you have to capture your conscience. Or not. What if you yeah, what if you just don't? Uh, you're an asshole. Yeah, if you want to go that way, yeah. then you are truly an yeah. asshole. Sort of yeah. like Dark Fantasy, <laughs> huh? <Jesus. laughs> and then on top of that, so, I mean, we, we just wanted to recreate the wildest night out that anybody's ever had and then even sure. take that up ten notches, right? So we also figured you've got to cram in other activities. So, yeah, you might get into a dance-off in an insane club, so there's a whole DDR-style set of mechanics. Or you might want to play beer pong against a couple of serial killers. So time to set up the beer pong table, and while you you're doing that, these aren't just mini games, you're talking the whole time too. So you can smack talk that person and that might throw them off their game. So the actual systems of the game are reacting to that. Also, so the, yeah. the reason that people have been damned is really kind of like there's a large sliding scale of why that is. Yes. One of my favorite things that these guys did is they created a world that is equal opportunity offensive, right? <laughs> and they've like mined all these religions to find these weird <laughs> reasons that you would be damned in them. Like, one of them was sewing together two pieces two of cloths. cloths. Yes, like, don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that, guys. But Adam didn't make that up. That's, no, that's a real thing. Yeah, it's a real yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So some people yeah. are in hell for that. Yeah. Other people are in hell for burying 13 oh, young 13 men. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Somebody yeah. in the audience is paying attention. Get some beer hats. Main vein that. But so what is that from? That, yeah, that, yeah, I've, that grievous sin. Oh, that's actually uh, it's from the Old uh, Testament. Nice. Where you're not allowed to the uh, truest plan. Old the school. truest one. <laughs> but I like his Old stuff more. I don't like his Old <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 stuff. I was yeah. in that Testament before yeah. everybody knew <laughs> yeah. about it. So. Yeah. But so, yeah, technically you're not allowed to plant different crops in your same yard. Not allowed to sew clothes together. It's a whole, whole thing. Don't and what happens if you do that? Where do you go? You, go, you burn in hell. As you hey! yeah. Our front row has gotten other beers. Oh, God. Beers. If you're at home and you are actually um, part of this game, please tweet at us so we know <laughs> that you are a part of this. Uh, you probably yes. won't be able to thumb your way through that tweet, but we uh, want to know. <laughs> mostly so we know you're safe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Safe Please at home. Don't tweet us also tomorrow. No driving. <laughs> <laughs> Mid hangover. Send legal bills to Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> one of the things that I loved about Oxenfree is there was an ARG element. Yes. I may have sent many people to an island in the middle of nowhere to find a tape. Yes. In <laughs> Thank I you for playing along with that, by the way. My that pleasure. Was it was great. Incredible. <laughs> it was a ton of fun. Uh, can I expect an after party ARG? We're Can playing it right now. We just <laughs> drink all the time. <laughs> Does it yeah, never end? Is it never ends. It starts <laughs> now and yeah, ends when you die. This is the loop. Yeah. This is the loop. <laughs> you talk, you drink, you talk, you drink. The drinking you drink. and the talking. You're experiencing all right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we are seeding some early ideas for something like that, but we can't talk much more about that yet. But yeah, I mean, that was something that we, it's funny, like with Oxen Free. It was something we, we started to tease. We're like, yeah, let's set up a weird fake phone number. Oh, wow, thousands of people called it. Oh, wow, maybe we should do some more with this. And then we created a full narrative with it. Um, and our sound designer and, and uh, composer, Andy Rohrman, who's doing all the amazing music also for this as. game, scientific, way cooler than Andy, uh, he was really sort of at the center of that. And he's acted kind of like a game designer with us on both of these games as well. Mm. Yay. Well, yeah, awesome. really inspired people to go out and explore creepy islands, so After Party is just going to encourage people to be dicks in bars, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Many have that already yeah. down. Yeah, right. So we're good. Yeah. Be free. It gives you permission. Yes. Yeah. To be your worst. Uh, I did have a question about just when it comes to not only playing these roles, but just in general. What is sort of... I, I, I feel like it's weird to be like, okay, you are now... A drunk person at a bar. Go. That's not weird that's at all. That's not weird at all. <laughs> that is no, that's, that's a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's is it the, weird? That's no. the best part, right? So like, so these guys, you know, I don't know how many um, characters you each played. I only played one, but even just in my experience, there was such a diversity of what was asked of me, mm -hmm. and that's really why I was attracted to the project in the first place. The When you drink alcohol, it gives you, it's almost like a superpower, I don't know if it's, if it's like a weapon, it's a super, I don't know what you want to call it, but it basically gives you these other modes that you think in, like in real life. Like and I'm a great dancer. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, yes. obviously. Yeah. Um, but like one is like being vaudevillian. So here I am in a booth and I have this giant monologue that this weirdo wrote that is like, I'm supposed to now say this as a vaudevillian actor from the days of yore. Yes! You know, like you just are, just, you want to bite your teeth into it. And that's, you know. Yeah, that's the thing is the writing. Like, I mean, it's funny, like, you get in there and it's all written in drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> there's like a conlang of drunkenness. And so you get in there and it's just all on the page. And then you just sort of fill it with, with life and hesitations and, and, you know, surprises. But it's all right there to play. There's nothing weird or kind of like a struggle to find about it at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long day. No. Uh, just the writing was so brilliant. I mean, yeah. it, it is to date, the funniest yeah. script I've ever read. It, it, it's amazing. Yeah. So I fun. can't wait for people Which is to so sink exciting. into it. I mean, be, uh, okay, my question to you is, mm. reading this after doing Oxenfree with them, were you like, oh, I didn't know you could drive in that mode? Or were you like, obviously? No. It was obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've also known Adam for a long time. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, going from Oxenfree, Oxenfree was like a, a training for a marathon in terms of, Adam likes to write. Um, and the characters like to talk. And yeah. so it would be like, normally when you're going through a script, line by line, sometimes you don't have time before you do a take to even read through the line. So you're just kind of going at it cold. Um, and with Alex, that was fine because she, she was very smart. She was very like stream of consciousness. And then we get to this script and it's just, at least for Wormhorn, was, uh, I had no idea what words were going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> um, and I felt like I'd been training for it um, just to to run with it. And, and like everyone said, um, the, your writing is so good at feeling grounded yeah, and natural. Well, and well, yeah. Like well, someone well, would actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. No, but yeah. it's like that. It's like that. So please, everybody, play this game so it'll so just funny. make this tiny studio have enough money to make another game after that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. need, as a fan, yeah. up yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And other games like it from other also, people too. Everybody. Hell. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. Just don't say it randomly. <laughs> the power. The sheer power. Yeah. Hell. <laughs> okay, I'll Jimmy, stop. Okay. <laughs> we only we have time, I think, for one more question. Okay. It's going to be the most important one. Okay. okay. Fall. You're... <laughs> All right. Well, we have our winner. 
you're in hell. Yeah. You've, all, you've all done just enough to go to hell. Yeah. And while in hell, <laughs> you have to out drink Satan for, I'm going to say, ownership of hell. Mm. Sure. And everyone in hell is in attendance. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what is the one drink you choose that you know you can defeat the devil with? This is real life or in our game? No, this is real life. This is not in a game. game. This have, is we have you personal. bloody stool, so that might be able to yeah. do it. But in, uh, All of the drink, every bar has five unique drinks, and one of them is called bloody stool. It's yeah. disgusting. But oh. in real life, sissy go. Look, IRL, Irish car bombs. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, That's the devil wow. notorious. Listen, cannot I'm not saying it. I would live after it. I'm just, you know, whatever. But you're already dead, so it's fine. I'm already going hard. I'm going to own hell. <laughs> I think for me, honestly, it would be LaCroix. <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> but maybe scotch. Good scotch. Ooh. Well, scotch, two seconds. You can get whatever good you want. Scotch. Yeah. All That'd night. Be a good one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm so much of a lightweight. I think I would just uh, cave and just accept that I'm fucked and I'm going to be in hell forever and <laughs> drink whatever's given to me. Yeah. Great. I don't drink at all, so I'm going to say cake. <laughs> <laughs> I my answer. Slurp that cake. Yeah. <laughs> In a <Yeah>. blender. <laughs> uh, for me, probably Jack and Coke. Okay. Yeah, I'd probably Lots do a combo for a while. Yeah. Mm. I was going to say Jack and Coke. Yeah. Oh. Thank God you started with this. By the way, these are cousins. Fight. They uh, fight. Oh. share bloodlines. Yeah. So that makes that's, sense. That's why. Um, I said, what the hell, everybody, by the way. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess no one said holy water. Or with oh. I was expecting. No. Oh, so he's not a vampire. Yeah, right. Something with Mescal. I actually, Mescal somebody in the audience, I split a half a bottle of Mescal with uh, a couple months ago. There he is. I'm looking right at him and he's pretending. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Everybody's so drunk now. Um, yeah. All right. They're, they're saying wrap, wrap it the hell it up. up. <laughs> wrap it up. So, the hell up. bring out the hook. What the hell? Gents, <laughs> when can we expect this game? And where can we expect it? We can expect it. I mean, we're expecting We're expecting you're everybody. Expecting oh, my God. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. You're barely I'm showing. I'm I know. Uh, later this year, fall is appropriate. Uh, and you'll see it on PS4, Xbox One, PC, Switch a little bit thereafter, Xbox Game Pass, day and date. And uh, Right now, you can get it. You can pre-order on the you Epic Game Store. on the Epic Game Store. Yes. yes. Right. Nice. Well, uh, that's it for After Party. Thank you all for watching. And remember, Thanks for drinking. be safe and don't do anything we wouldn't do. In hell. In hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ej, świetne to było. Jestem tak glad, że zostałem. Czy to będzie jeszcze jakieś, jakieś zakończenie, podsumowanie, jakby jak to się wszystko skończy? Bo jakby no Kini powinien tutaj jeszcze wyjść, coś pogadać czy coś. Do tego jeszcze chwilę zostaniemy dosłownie, ale to już jest naprawdę ostatnie momenty tego 3 Tak, wiesz, Jeff. Thanks to all the guys from After Party. Uh, thank you for joining us for E3 Coliseum 2018. Hope you guys had a good time. What's up? How are we doing? Uh, thanks for watching the stream. Oh my God. What's up? One love. Thank you guys for a great time. Uh, three full days. So many video games. <laughs> oh, we down. did it. Thank you for watching, guys. We will see you uh, next year, maybe, for E3 2020. <laughs> Good night. W ogóle on powiedział chyba E3 2018, wydaje mi się.